Well, hi everybody, it's Mike Griffin, and I want to make a real short video here about a very special wing jig and a very special stunner that Eric Rule has, uh, has come up with. The airplane, I won't tease you about that, the model that he is having me test build for him is going to be a MiG-3 stunner. Here's a profile of the just pack these plans all the heck and back <clears throat> so I can start to build this thing. But anyway, I was just going to show you the, the profile of it, uh, how it looks from the side. Oh, it's a full body fuselage. I don't know how well this is showing up on camera, but anyway, that's uh, the fuselage of it. And I've got behind me, I've got a wing layout, which I'll move the camera a little bit closer before too long. But I want to talk to you about a jig. Um, I don't own a rod jig. Um, I do own a jig that I bought. It's from Jim Snelson years ago when he made it. They're little L brackets of aluminum, and uh, they have V blocks on the front, or uh, and and just other little square blocks on the back where you can build basically any type of wing that uses a diamond shaped leading edge or a square leading edge or uh, or whatever. Uh, great jig. It does the job of getting the wing up off the building surface so that you can, <clears throat> you know, put the ribs in and put the spars in and make the wing. Um, the bottom problem with that jig is it takes forever to set it up. Sometimes it takes an hour for me to get it set up properly and get it going. The thing I wanted to tell you today is, uh, you see all kinds of jigs out there. You see, uh, like the rod jig is a common one. They use arrow shafts to go through the holes that are pre-drilled in the uh, ribs, or maybe you might have to drill them yourself. Depends on whether the kit manufacturer puts them in there for you. Uh, there's a jig like I got from Snelson. Uh, there's one that's uh, a Justo jig, I think, came out years ago. I don't think they make them anymore. There's a few of them still floating around. And everybody that's got them loves them, said they do a great job. To me, it looks like you need an engineering degree to set it up, but um, evidently they work. But I'm going to show you a jig today uh, to build this wing on for the MiG-3 that is very, very, very simple and very inexpensive. And basically, it's made out of these. It's made out of one by one balsa blocks. If you can go to the hobby store or if you have some one by one around, this stuff works just as good as anything I've ever used and you can build a very straight wing with it and it's very easy to get the trailing and leading edges on it. Now, I'm going to pause this for just a minute because I want to show you this ingenious leading and trailing edge that Eric Rule has come up with at RSM. It's called the MIT Wing. And it's kind of an inside joke um, that you'd have to talk to Eric and Larry Ringer about more than anything. But basically, if you got an M a degree from MIT, you can build this wing. It is so simple, it is unbelievable. So let me put this on pause and I'll show you the pieces here and we'll get to talking about how this wing jig can build the MIT wing. Okay? Hang on. Okay, I'm not really sure how this is going to come out from this point on. I had to pause the camera to get it closer to the building board. I'm not going to be in the picture anymore. But as you can probably see, I have the plan for the wing for the MiG-3 laying here. I've, I've pre-applied. I've, all I've done is I've taken a piece of sheetrock, cut out the plan of the wing, glued it to the sheetrock, which is on a piece of glass, which is perfectly level. And I will build the wing on this platform, okay? The sheetrock has a little bow in it, so I just put a little weight right here to weight it down when I'm building the wing to make it, and put my level on there to make sure it's completely level. But you need something to pin these blocks to. What I've done is I have taken these blocks and cut them up and put them in between the ribs, uh, spaced them out a little bit, pinned them to the sheetrock, at the leading and trailing edge locations. Now, your leading and trailing edge for this MIT wing is made out of four pieces. I got two of them in my hand. You have to glue these together so that you'll get something that long, of course. But here's the leading edge. Here's the trailing edge. This is a piece of, I think, one quarter by, I don't know what it is, maybe one quarter, three eighths by an inch, maybe. And this is a smaller piece. Now, you see these holes that are 
laser cut in, in this piece here, in these pieces, um, are corresponding. And your ribs, or an MIT wing, your ribs have this on them, front, back, I don't know what you want to call them, little protrusions. And the idea is that when you line this up on your blocks and pin it straight up and down, can you see that? Yeah, you can. You're going to put the front of the rib here and the back of the rib in here. So you end up, and they're lined up. Now, when you're looking down on the wing itself as you're building it, you can see the lines where the ribs are on the set of plans. So you can make sure that your rib is square. Or you can use a little square to get in there and do it. And that's all there is to it. You put the front protrusion and the back protrusion in these holes that are already laser cut. And what you do is when you get ready to pin your leading and trailing edges to your blocks, you just set them up on the block like so. I've got this trailing edge already glued together bring it to the front edge of the blocks like this. You take a pin. Let me borrow one of these. You just take a pin. Can you see this? Okay, good. And you just pin this down to the block, you know, straight up and down. And you do that all the way up and down. Set your ribs in. You may have to adjust these blocks a little bit. But everything's the same height. It's perfectly level. So after you take the wing off, you've got a very straight wing. You don't have a real fancy jig here. You haven't invested a lot of money for a jig. And the MIT wing system, I think, is pretty ingenious as far as keeping your ribs lined up where they're supposed to go. And, of course, the blocks keep it level. So that's it. I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I haven't started building the, uh, the um, wing yet. I've got to put my... 164th plywood reinforcements on the front of the ribs where the blocks go, the mounted landing gear blocks go in the wing because this is a wing mounted gear. Okay guys, that's it. So I'll be back with another video but wanted to show you this ingenious MIT wing and a good jig that's really cheap that you can build it on.